Hello, everyone. So, see, in this class, again, one more LAQ we are going to discuss. That is from oscillation chapter. See the question. Define simple harmonic motion. Show that motion of a projection of particle performing uniform circular motion on any diameter is simple harmonic. So first you have to write the definition of simple harmonic motion. And then you have to show that motion of projection of particle performing uniform circular motion on any diameter is simple harmonic. Right? So let's start. Now, first of all, let's write down the definition of simple harmonic motion. So what is the definition of simple harmonic motion? A body is said to be in simple harmonic motion if it moves to and fro. To and fro means, if suppose this is mean position, this is to and fro, to and fro, right? like this, forth and back, to and fro along a straight line about its mean position such that at any point its acceleration is directly proportional to displacement in magnitude and opposite in direction and it always directs towards its mean position. This is what the definition of simple harmonic motion. So see here, A is proportional to minus X. So simply what is the simple harmonic motion? First of all, the, what you can say, body should oscillate to and fro about its mean position in a straight line. Okay, first point is that. Next, at any point, its acceleration should be directly proportional to its displacement, but in opposite direction. And it always should direct towards its mean position. So A is directly proportional to minus X, and that is displacement. And therefore, A is equal to minus omega square X, where omega square is constant, we can say. A is acceleration, X is displacement. Now, let's move towards half part of the question, we can say, or next half part of the question. That is, we have to show that projection is also performing simple harmonic motion. So see here, projection of particle in uniform circular motion on a diameter is performing SHF. So for that, consider a particle P in uniform circular motion with constant angular velocity omega in anti-clockwise direction. So for that, we have to draw the diagram, okay? And that I will explain in next slide, okay? So see, consider a particle P is moving along the circumference in uniform circular motion, obviously, and its angular velocity is what? Omega, how it is moving in anti-clockwise direction. Okay? So let's draw the diagram. We can see here. This is the particle P. And you can see it is moving like this along the circumference with constant angular velocity, Omega. And how it is moving? anti-clockwise direction, okay? So this is what amplitude we can say. This is X, right? O, N, P, and M, okay? So in the diagram, you can see X, X dash, and Y, Y dash are the diameters. X, X dash, and Y, Y dash are the diameters. N is what? Projection of P on XX dash. You can see here. From P, we have drawn one projection on XX dash. Similarly, you can see M is what? Projection on M, uh, Y, Y dash. Hey, projection of P on Y, Y dash. Understood? This N is projection on XX dash. M is projection on Y, Y dash. Okay? Now, see here no need to write the statements which are very confusing or which may trouble you which are there in the book we can say so see i have made one table for you listen 
P moves from and N moves from. See here. P moves from X to Y. You can see here. As P is moving from X to Y, you see here. This point P is here. Okay, X. Like this, it is moving. Means, suppose here its projection is here. Then its projection is here. Then its projection is here. Then its projection is here. Means, this N, how it will move from X to O. Understand. One more time, I'm repeating. Listen. As this P, you can see here. This point P is here, right? So point P here, 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 like that it is going. How? Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this is going. From X to Y. Means its projection will move how? Here once, then here once, then here, then here, then here, and then again here. Hena? Means X to O. What will move to X to O? Its projection. That's why you see. N moves from X to O. N is projection now. So it moves from X to O. Next now, as P moves from Y to X dash. Now P will come like this, like this, like this, like this here. Means you see its projection is O here, 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 like this, like this, and like this. Means O to X dash. That's why here O to X dash. Understand? Next now. As this P point moves from X dash to Y dash like this, you see its projection is here, then here, then here, then here, then here, then here, and till O. Means X dash to O. That's why X dash to O. Understood? Next now, as P moves from this Y dash to X, projection how it will move? O, then here, then here, then here, then here and X means O to X. Understand? Came back to its initial position. Right. Now, let's move ahead. It means if P completes one rotation, then N completes one oscillation along the diameter X X dash. You see one more time. This P is going like this. Okay. And this N is going first like this. And then again, coming back like this. Got my point? As P is moving like this, yes, this N will move like this, and then again, coming back like this. Means for this one circular motion, it is also one, uh, completing one oscillation in a straight line. We can see. Okay, got it. Next. Now, acceleration of the point P towards O is APO. So you see here, which is equal to what we should write. You see, this is A omega square. Here it should be A. Okay, one minute. This is A. So A omega square. And now I am resolving its components. A omega square cos theta. A omega square sin theta. This is a omega square. This is its component. This is vertical. This one is horizontal. Okay. Now, acceleration of n towards O is equal to the horizontal component. So, A is equal to APO cos theta. So, which is what? A omega square cos of theta. You see, APO cos of theta. This one is P point, we can say this one is O, like this. So, APO cos of theta, like this. So, A omega square cos theta. Got it? Okay. Means this N is moving towards O. It will have this acceleration, right? Huh? Yes, no? A omega square cos of theta, like this. Because N is moving like this now, so it will have this acceleration. Now, let's move ahead. Now, from diagram, cos theta is equal to X by A. Cos theta is equal to X by A. You can see here. You see here, cos theta is equal to what? Ray? X by A. You can see, just diagram, you see. X by A. Can you see? This is X and this is A. 
adjacent by hypotenuse. Yes, no? Right? Now, cos theta is equal to x by a. So, and a is equal to a omega square cos theta. So, whatever the cos theta value I got, I'm going to substitute here. You just see this cos theta value in the acceleration formula. What is that x by a? So, x by a I have substituted a a cancel. Now, what I got a is equal to omega square x. Now, a is along n o and x is along o n. Hey na? A is along n o, x is along o n. Means what? Opposite in direction. Yes? And that's why, so a and x are in opposite direction. Therefore, a is should be equal to minus omega square x. Hey na? You can see in the diagram. If suppose a is along n o, x is along o n. Okay? So that's why minus sign and hence the projection of a particle in uniform circular motion on any diameter is simple harmonic okay just go through it once and revise well okay